Bonjour, mon petit chef le Amber here, <laughs> and I'm doing my best. It is 1.18 in the morning. I have not been home for that long. We have been traveling all day, home from Boston, <sighs> and I'm tired. But my November owl crate came the other day uh, before we left, and I haven't had time to open it, and I have been thinking about it for the past two days that I can't wait to get home to open this thing. So here we are. I don't remember the theme. I don't remember if I had a guess for this, the book in this box, but it's feeling kind of chunky. So I'm excited to get into it. I got a new tattoo. It's also a thing that happened, mm -hmm. which is why I didn't open my owl crate because this came as I was leaving to go get said tattoo. And if you can't see, it's a Hunger Games tattoo. I just finished reading the Hunger Games for the 10th time series today. Um, I think Odair deserves the world. Anyway, let's get into this box. I don't want to hear you sigh. Ooh, is this a blanket? Okay, I'm gonna move this aside because I want to get the theme card. This is giving me Queen Elsa of Arendelle vibes. This is the theme card, spoiler card for the month. And oh yes, that's what it is. The theme card, the theme for the month for November. That's this month, right? Yeah is through the enchanted forest so i don't remember if it was if we were told already um but i'm expecting a narnia item in here because i love narnia and when you think enchanted forest it's the first thing i think of so off the top like i said we have what looks like a blanket it says let me take this out actually. what box was it that i just got a blanket in was it my was my stalk my stalking jack the river box and as soon as I held it up I got lipstick on it I'm gonna try not to do that this time but it says all forests are magic throw blanket it's so soft Let's see if I can do this I just flung all types of fibers into my ginger ale is this upside down it is all forests are magic that is a, ho a holly black quote apparently I haven't read any of her books but I really like this it feels really soft and this is the time of year for all of this and this is an officially licensed throw blanket uh with a quote from the cruel prince the final book in that trilogy just came out i haven't read any of them who knows if i'll i i kind of want to get around to at least reading the first one mainly because i really like the jude and cardin um fan art is it ridiculous to read a book simply because you like the fan art Okay, moving right along. So the next thing I see is this little paper sachet looking thing. It says Alcrate Exclusive, created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. I'm not ripping this <laughs> smoothly. Oh, is this another um, ornament? Trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. This is what it looks like. I don't know if this is the same company that designed the wooden bookmark, not bookmark, wooden ornament that we got last year. It was a, I think it was inspired by the Crowns game. And I remember really liking that one because it had the little snow globe that like the one that's on the cover. This is inspired by the Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater which which I haven't read another one I haven't read next I see a pack of stickers and it says pip stickers by pip sticks and these are just really cute like little uh these have like a sort of almost like holographic reflective quality about them and I think they're really cute I will most likely use these in my bullet journal for December oh yes because this month we get the um reading planner for 2020 so these definitely will go with that also I'm excited to see what this year's reading planner looks like even though I barely used mine from la from this year the way I wanted to distractions is this a bookmark is this a bookmark? It's heavy. Ooh, is this a metal bookmark? Oh, <laughs> her paper world. 
and then there was a song in this forest too but it was a savage song whispering of madness and tearing and rage naomi novak this is inspired by uprooted by naomi novak which is once again another one i intend to get around to is this that the one that's like the is that the one that's the is it rumble still skin or one of those uh retellings or inspired by this is so pretty and it's metal i don't think i have any other metal bookmarks but i love bookmarks and i just the quality of this is fantastic i love the color scheme and the tassel itself is my favorite color so i like this a lot next i see the reading planner for 2020 and it's so pretty magical monthly reading planner that's so cute on the back there's the quote there's this bit here i hope that in this year to come you make mistakes because if you're making mistakes then you are making new things trying new things learning living pushing yourself changing yourself changing your world you're doing things you've never done before and more importantly you're doing something so that's my wish for you and for all of us and my wish for myself make new mistakes make glorious amazing mistakes make mistakes nobody's ever made before don't freeze don't stop don't worry that it isn't good enough or it isn't perfect whatever it is art or love or work or family or life whatever it is you're scared of doing do it make your mistakes next year and forever and that is from neil gaiman and on the inside again like last this year's i keep saying last year's we have the section for the favorite books and it looks like it has like almost watercolor type effects on the edges the corners of the pages these are so cute and they have the quotes at the top of the page they this this time they have like the book wish list for every month which the um book review section is more detailed than this year's and i really like that monthly wrap up favorite quotes it's basically how i set up my bullet journal I really like this this year and I'm definitely going to make more of an effort to actually use this because I definitely don't want this one to go to waste. And this was designed, they, Alcrate partnered up with, who was this called by again? Blue Star Press to design this. And I don't know if I mentioned it, it is quite a lot bigger than this year's also. If I knew where mine was, I'd show you, I'd compare them. So we have um i guess like a promo print for the sequel to amber and dusk which we got in a previous alcrate box and it's called diamond and dawn okay this is hilarious because the first book is amber and dusk and obviously my name is amber we know that uh but the sequel is diamond and dawn and my mom's name is dawn and so my birth, nobody asked so that's i love that for us dawn Yes, um, I haven't read the first one, but I kind of have to get the sequel simply for the fact that mm -hmm. it's coming from my mom and my brand, you know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. great. Oh, and has the quote, Once upon a time, I dared to dream of a strange, lovely world where I belonged. So, I see the book. Excellent. So, I'm going to show you that now. And there was no Narnia item, but it's fine when you think enchanted wood that's the first thing or enchanted forest that's the first thing i think of but it's okay and this cover is so pretty and we there i don't think i realized that we had sprayed edges this month but this month's book is winter wood by shay earnshaw and this is definitely a book that has been on my radar and i've been eyeballing and wanting to get get my hands on it was on definitely on my my uh book wish list anyway i believe the original cover is like dark blue or black with some other colored lettering but i think this is so pretty and it looks so wintery winter wood <laughs> and it looks so wintry and look at that that color combo absolutely i love this shade of blue oh that's pretty oh, look at that this is the spine 
also very pretty. I love if you put a moon on something, I'm gonna already fall in love with it. As always, this is signed by the author. I don't know if you can really see it because it is signed in pen as opposed to Sharpie. This also looks like a pretty short book, so it should be pretty quick read. I just drooled a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. So the op the opening quote of the book is a C.S. Lewis quote. And I've been sitting here babbling about Narnia. So that was a nice surprise to open the book. I do not think the forest would be so bright, nor the water so, so warm, nor love so sweet if there was no danger in the lakes. Be careful of the dark, dark wood, especially the woods surrounding the town of Furhaven. Some say these woods are magical, cursed even. Rumored to be a witch, only Nora Walker knows the truth. She and the Walker woman before her have always shared a special connection with the woods. And it's this special connection that leads Nora to Oliver Huntsman. The same boy who disappeared from the camp for wayward boys weeks ago. And in the middle of the worst snowstorm in years. He should be dead. But here he is alive and left in the woods with no memory of the time he'd been missing. I am so out of focus. <laughs> but Nora can feel an uneasy shift in the woods at Oliver's presence. And it's not too long after that Nora realizes she has no choice but to, oh, I lost my place, <laughs> unearth the truth behind how the boy she has come to care so deeply about survived his time in the forest and what led him there in the first place. What Nora doesn't know though is that Oliver has secrets of his own, secrets, secrets, secrets he'll do anything to keep buried because as it turns out, he wasn't the only one who went missing on that faith, fateful night all those weeks ago. For as long as there have been fairy tales, we have been warned to fear what lies within the dark, dark woods. And in Winterwood, New York Times bestselling author Shay Earnshaw shows us why. Interesting. That sounds really, really interesting. And it sounds like it'll be a fun book to read when it, as it gets progressively colder. Oh my god, speaking of which, I was just in Boston and it was so cold up there that I wanted to cry. That I was like on the brink of tears. The last item. Hello? What? What? It's focused on my shadow. Okay. Can you please? <laughs> the last item is the monthly pin. Ooh, that's pretty. Designed in collaboration with Four Seasons Fox. This is what it looks like. I think that's so cool looking. We were inspired by the descriptions of the bone moth that follows the main character of Winterwood through the forest. I don't know what that means, but um... I'm interested to find out. As always, there's the letter from the author, which I always read after I'm finished. A spellbinding tale of witchery, deadly secrets, and woods that hold grudges. It me. <laughs> I'm the woods that hold grudges. And this month we have the newsletter back. Last month they tried, uh, they did like a trial of a digital one and I don't know what happened, but they went back to it. Like I said, here is the original cover. It is like a, oh, it's like black with blue lettering and like um, the gold crescent moons. Still pretty, but I, I kind of prefer, I think I prefer this one. Just for this time of the year, actually. Interview with the author. Like Winterwood, try these great reads. The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. The Price Guide to the Occult and The Memory Trees by Callie Wallace. We have an interview with the vendor from Pip Sticks, which is the company that did the stickers. And then, uh, okay, this is fun. It says, a playlist for losing yourself in woods full of dark magic and ancient secrets. I love a playlist. Let's see. Oh, ooh, Aurora is up here. I love Aurora and I was hoping. I was like, you can't. She just has that vibe. In fact, Aurora makes up most of my actual writing playlist for my novel. So, other releases we're excited about this month. Girls of Storm and Shadow! Which I have and have not started yet, surprisingly. I've been finishing The Hunger Games, but I'm getting around to that very soon. Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Seavotter. The Toll by Neil Schusterman, which I think is the last one in the Scythe series. Uh, Sisters of Shadow and Light 
by Sarah B. Larson. I want to get that. And Song of Crimson Flower, which I also just received for my book of the month, YA. And then last in our box is the theme card for next month. The theme of the December box is Tales of Trickery. It says every December box will contain an exclusive book sleeve designed by Chatty Nora. I love book sleeves. So yes, that is November, the November Owl Crate box. I am very excited to snuggle up with my, excuse me, my blanket. I'm trying really hard not to get lipstick on it. I absolutely love the bookmark. It's like, I love this bookmark. I actually really like the pen also and I can't wait to read the book. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it to and get around to it in December even though it's like the ideal the ideal time to read this book. It's the vibe that it's giving off. Might have to push it to January which is still winter. Thank you for watching. If you got Owl Credit this month let me know what your favorite item in the box was. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, feel free to subscribe. All my places are down here so you can follow me and I'll follow you back and I'll see you very soon.